Let us get started from a very short video about uh, our co cooperation with the Ubisoft to promote our mobile games. Okay, so I will explain it uh, this event later. Uh, so let us just start from our PPT first. So uh, the main topic is about the uh, operation campaign is the key to win in MMO mobile games. So just recently, I think uh, a lot of people know that the MMO games are dominate the whole Chinese market, and um, if you are not in mainland China, maybe you are not very familiar with uh, MMO games, especially on the mobile version. So uh, I will just give you some thoughts about what happened in mainland China and uh, why this operation campaign can help us to um, operate uh, better and get a better performance in China. So the main content is about, firstly, we will talk about the brief introduction of operation campaign in China, and then how operation campaign work on high retention and monetization through improving user experience and the interaction, then case study, and finally, conclusion. Firstly, operation campaign in MMO titles. So why is MMO mobile game? If you play the uh, War of Warcraft from the Blizzard, maybe you are familiar with uh, MMO RPG games. So the idea is very simple. Of course, massively multiple player online. So I think I, I try to use more simple word to express, express this kind of idea. Just, just imagine when you log in the games, you will see a lot of players on the same screen to play with you. So you can see that maybe you can uh, team up with other players to go through the quests or um, battle with the boss to get uh, some gifts or benefits or buff. Then, or you can just uh, talk to land and uh, interact with land even uh, battle with each other. So the very important idea of these games is all about interaction. So normally it needs uh, active network connection to help uh, uh, every player can interact with each other. So why MMO? If you see the data from the, this slide, you can see that right now, China's market is kind of like dominate the whole world right now. So it, it, it increased dramatically, uh, even replaced the, 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 the United States and Japan as the biggest uh, market in the world. And if you take a close look of the grossing chart of Apple store, you can see that, um, by the revenue, uh, in April, you can see that seven games are MMORPG related games uh, in the Chinese Apple Store. So why they are so popular? Because uh, Chinese players love to play games with each other. So it's also related to the culture. Uh, it's also related to um, their like, um, mindset, behavior, or work style. And uh, I think that this is a very big topic, so uh, I, I don't want to go further, but just let you have the general picture. And uh, operation games in Chinese MMO mobile games, that's our main topic today. 
you can see that actually there are three major purpose why we keep create different uh, operation campaigns inside again because we want to get a better retention rate we want to get a better payment rate and uh, we want to make uh, our user interact with each other more so uh, according to this uh, slide you can see that if you want to increase the intention rate you can create a daily check-in or time limited comebacks with bonus that means user are willing to 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 uh, log in your games more often and uh, stay longer inside again to to get some benefits uh, and uh, play with each other and uh, according to payment if you want to increase the payment rate you can also create some like uh, game union competition that means if you are the players uh if you want to normally if you want to like uh, get some like um, guidance from others normally you will join some union inside the, the the game to get some help uh from maybe uh the the, the older or uh, uh, sorry not older i would say maybe who play longer inside the game and in the meantime you can also create some impulsive consumption um, guidance like if you are a rookie if you just join the, the game uh, what do you need inside the game so normally uh, we can create a small package for the all, uh, for the uh, players to let them to maybe pay in a very uh, in a very little amount to enjoy it again and uh, they, they if they face some difficulties or uh, we also estimate if they in certain period they need some help we can create this kind of uh, campaign to help them to to tap up and uh, especially about top up ranking with bonus if you uh, normally in this MMO games there is a leaderboard if you get a higher ranks inside the game you can also get some bonus for this position uh, also we can also create a lot of like uh, campaigns for interact with each other like uh, positive or negative motivation like uh, if you team up with others you can get more benefits if you um, like uh, come back with each other you can also get some benefits if you win of course there are questionnaire mission task collection treasure hunts so there are so many different tasks just in uh, also I think there is a very important uh, example about uh, if you watch the, uh, the 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 Western life sorry I, I forgot the the, the, the name uh, from HBO right there, there is a, a, a word uh, there are lots of robots you can interact with each other also you can also meet a lot of players other players uh, in the meantime to create a better atmosphere if you want to like uh, stay in that virtual world so uh, this is the event we work with the Ubisoft we got an IP license uh from their assassin creed because we create a career the um the character with assassin so we think it's better to 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 work with the ubisoft to let our players or characters can buy the skins the the, the outfits to play inside again so the next topic is about how operation campaign work on high retention and monetization. You can see that normally uh, for this campaign, uh, it's they, they are three major uh, goals. One is about trying to fix the, the box. If your customers or players complain there is a bug, of course you have to try to work with the development team to fix it. Or about revenue right if you want to increase revenue and uh, of course another major reason is about engagement so there are several uh, methods ways 
to create this to to reach or fulfill these three different goals. So you can see normally how it goes. Firstly, normally you have to like uh, create a campaign, try to design a campaign, and uh, you will um, do it and also see the data and try to analysis what we are doing good or not. We will take a very close look. In the meantime, we can also we will also get the feedbacks uh, from our users. In the meantime, we will also keep checking these data or feedback and uh, try to uh, modify or adjust our uh, campaigns, try to um, create a better one for the next time. So when it comes to the structure of this operation team, normally um, I think for a lot of maybe Western style developer, normally you will have a person uh, do uh, work as project management. So normally this guy will help the development team to try to collect some info to um, fix the bugs, try to help to uh, do some customer service. But for MMORPG games in, in China, normally there is a team, a very huge team. So it depends on uh, how, how, how big, how big of the revenue of the game. There is a team try to uh, contact or communicate with the development studio and the business development team and also uh, contact with the marketing and the advertising uh, team, and also try to get some feedback from the customer service team to help uh, to operate these games, get the better performance. So let's see the case study. So you can see that uh, our Big title, Date of Break. We work with the Ubisoft's IP, uh, Assassin's Creed, because we know, uh, we knew that there's a movie coming out. Uh, it's about the uh, Assassin's Creed. And uh, our operation team also see our data, our performance has dropped since we have already launched it over um, five months. So, we saw that maybe it's very good timing to do some campaign to help us to get better performance and try to prolong the product life cycle. So we talked to the Ubisoft and uh, get the IP license of their outfits. So you can see the performance has um, improved a lot and uh, help us to get better revenue and uh, uh, pay rate. So you can also see another example about the Christmas campaign. So uh, before the Christmas or other holidays, normally we will uh, try to build up certain atmosphere also inside again. So when players play this game, they can feel this kind of atmosphere in the same time. So you can see the Santa Claus or everything almost in red in the game. And in the meantime, you can also try to do some time limited uh, campaigns, events to get uh, the Christmas related gifts or bonuses. And uh, we also create very special uh, evil Santa that they, to, to let people or to let users, uh, players, to, to come back with this evil center. And in, in the meantime, uh, based on this previous experience, user normally will have higher recognition uh, on active campaign than just not native campaign. So, I mean, active campaigns like if you create very specific event for specific um, holidays, vacations, normally uh, we can get better feedback from the players because they, they will feel, oh yeah, it, it's similar with our 
real life, right? If you just go out、uh, for dinner, you will see the 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 Christmas tree. And in the meantime, when you play this game, our day of break, you will, will also see the 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 Christmas tree in the game. So you will feel it's it's just like your real life. And、uh, it's also that that can create your pay rate as well. If you create, if we create this, uh, sorry, when we create this Christmas campaign, uh, we one day only top up certain amounts like a、uh, fifty RMB with rebating equivalent. Normally, you can get extra benefits or extra a、uh, bonus, and、uh, that will. In, that will push or、um, let our users to pay more, or they are more willing to pay. And、uh, also, there will be like exclusive outfits for the Christmas. And、uh, also, there is、uh, we will also create a super value Christmas、uh, goodie bag, so they can try to do、uh, buy this and.、Uh, Get some random gifts. So, in conclusion, how to design a proper operation campaign?、Uh, of course, ultimate goal is to enhance the gain revenue and the the KPIs. Of course,、uh, normally we will uh, uh, calculate the income equal to active user、uh, multiply active. Pay main rate and、uh, ARPPU、uh, to see the performance of the campaign, and、uh, we will also check the user experience and the interaction inside the game. And、uh, you can see the gameplay is comp complements and the consumption guidance. So that's about it today. So I think it's about the、uh, Q and A time. So thank you for your listening. So any questions? I'll take the first question. Sure. What do you think that in Japan and China and Korea you're seeing this very very strong live team culture? Yes. And we don't see that in the West. Why, why do you think that is the case? Okay.、Um, I think、uh, it's related to culture. I would say. Like、uh, because I grew up in Taiwan,、uh, although currently I working in China, because compared to Western people,、um, Chinese people are more shy. So maybe for the Western people, if they feel lonely, if they feel、uh, I need someone to 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 help to accompany me to to kill some time, you will just hit the bars and、uh, maybe pick up girls directly, right? It's a very Western style. But、uh, I think in 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 China or in 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 Asia, normally people are more shy, so they are willing to join these kind of games to play with others. And、uh, in the meantime, they can like hide behind the screen to interact with others. So I and、uh, also pick up girls in the meantime, right? If you join the union. If there is、uh, some, if there are some girls just join the union, you can mentor them and help them, and they, maybe you can also ask them out. And、uh, I think that's why、uh, these kind of MMORPG games are more popular in China than in Western. So I think in Western people are more maybe focused on gameplay itself, but for Chinese players, they focus more on Interaction, because they are shy. That's that's my thought. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Uh. Yeah. Thanks for the presentation. And as recently in China, like as you said, MMOs have been becoming very big. Yeah. Uh. But mostly, would you say it's mainly mobile MMOs? Uh. And like, why is that? I know in the past it used to be PC MMOs, right? So what do you?、Uh, besides the fact that of course smartphones are everywhere nowadays, but. Uh, why is it? Why do you think that smartphone MMOs nowadays are so much more popular than PC MMOs ever were in China in the past? Uh, like Alan said up before, you can see the younger generation of Chinese, 
they just grew up with mobile phones. So especially grew up with WeChat, uh, the, the Chinese version of, uh, I wouldn't, I, I, actually it's hard to say, it, it's like a combined with the Facebook, uh, WhatsApp in the meantime. So normally this younger generation of Chinese people, they spend so much time on WeChat. So they enjoy this kind of atmosphere to play with, uh, to talk with others. And in the meantime, they can also play games with others. So like Tencent's games, they always uh, integrate WeChat into their games. So when they, when you are playing uh, MMO games or mobile games, you can also see uh, if your friends online or not, you can ask them to uh, go through the, con the quest or the battles together. So they are more familiar with this kind of atmosphere and how they uh, work with each other. Maybe in the real life, they are shy to talk to strangers or their friends to, 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 to do something together. But if they use mobile phones to, to talk to others, they are more enjoy it. And uh, in the meantime, back to PC version, um, I think the whole infrastructure in China is not very good. Chinese is a developing country. But just a few years ago, uh, government spent a lot of money on infrastructure. So I think that's also another major reason why mobile uh, MMO are more popular just recently. I think um, one is for the WeChat, Another reason is for the infrastructure. I think that's my thoughts about it. Thank you. Thank you so much. I think that's all, right? Thank you.